Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In this video guys, we're gonna unbox and review the Universal Quick Charging Stand for Xbox controllers. It supports the Xbox One and above all the other controllers that are Xbox related. Um, now with that all said guys, this video is sponsored by yours truly. Uh, so it's my own thing. I buy for my own money and I'm gonna be 100% real with how, how it is, how it feels, how it is. All right, this out of the way, guys. That's how it looks on the front, side, behind, and the other side. Downstairs, nothing too special. And as always, Razer, fancy, has this ribbon thingy. All right, and let's get my knife. Oh, scary, right? So, as you might see, guys, I didn't open it, nothing. It's really close. I just gonna light here. There you go. Right up here, I know, not the best setup, not the best setup for things like that, but one hour later. If you're gonna get open, you, there we go, okay? There we go, and we, yeah, somehow damaged the, the thingy. And a typical classic, guys, in the middle of my recording, my mom calls, and yes, I had to break it. So anyways, guys, um, we open it just like that, and uh, see? it like this and uh, yeah there's a little bit let's see let's see what's inside Three. okay kind of heavy though okay let's see hold up so inside the carton guys it's literally only the instruction quick charging stand instruction nobody needs that and we have oh okay here's something we have uh, Let's see what we get. Okay, hold up. Oops, oops. Give me a second. Don't get. Oh, there's a lot of stuff inside, dude. What? Okay, it's nothing, guys. I thought it was something because it looked, you see, but it is nothing. So with this other way, guys, we get we get the carton out. Um, so what's inside is obviously this. This how it looks. Uh, let me get it open. This is the stand. This is the this is the, the casing. This is the stand. This this is how it's supposed to look. Go look from behind. I think you can see it. Razor. Let me clean that up real quick. Nice, nice. Uh, uh, there's a razor thingy. It's really the the bottom. It has this. Um, uh, how should I say it? It's just like gooey thingy. That's uh, so it keeps safe on on your on your desk. It doesn't move. It feels quality plastic, uh, really heavy. Uh, what I like. Um, here's here's the light. Here where when you put the control, it's gonna probably light up, and it's probably gonna be red when it's charging. And it's probably gonna get green when it's done. So this is an indicator that it's actually done. What not? What I like. Uh, it's USB type. Type C. This is another good thing here. We're gonna put this down here. Um, we get, of course, the the most important thing here, guys. Oh my god! Let me open the front of the camera. We get the battery. We get a battery. What? This is actually I why I bought I bought it because. I'm tired of batteries um, and always to swap and whatnot. I want to put it down, charge it when I'm done with my playing session and keep going. Not to think about batteries, right? It's the battery and then there's another thing. You get a USB, you get a cable as well with it. USB type C to USB type 2, I think, for to get it in your PC and whatnot. Um, I gonna open it. Of course I gonna do. Boom. And it's really cool. It has had this. It has this. Look, look at. It. it has this cool rubber thingy. What I like. It's literally rubber uh, uh, cable, and it feels premium. It has this razor thing again. You see this this thing. And of course, uh, even here, razor. I like it. As I said, USB Type Two, and it's always green razor. <laughs> Come on. Uh, and uh, yeah, USB Type C. What I think is a plus plus here. We put it down as well here. Put it put it put aside. And here the battery. And then we have guys. We have two 
I don't know what they call that. Those are the... Hold up. Those are for your controller. You see, you might think, how do I charge? How do I gonna dock my Xbox One controller and charge with it? There are two ones. There's one for the Elite and one for the Xbox One. Um, and this why I like it. It's future-proofed as well. So in case one of the days I gonna have the money, I don't have, but when I have the money, I gonna get me a, a Elite One, and then I can just swap the battery from the from my Plus One controller, one Xbox One controller, to my Elite, and this I can swap. This is why I think it's a Plus Plus as well. So now here's my Xbox One controller. I gonna do a, a roll, pre-roll. I don't know what they call that. The professional YouTubers, the reviewers that you show you how it looks and whatnot. So this will be probably popping up just now. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it how it looks on my desk and whatnot. Anyways, what we're gonna do right now, guys, we're gonna pop this open. This is the original one. Put it right here. You see, you have batteries. Pop them out. Put them here. We take this battery that came with the dock, right? And let's see. You wanna put it literally like this because it's gonna dock here, right? So you have to have it like this at the bottom. So now let's see, there's plus and minus. There we go, plus and minus. It's, there's an indicator. So don't don't get sweaty, guys. The indicator for minus and plus, so you cannot go wrong here. Don't panic. Obviously, you cannot do this, not this. So there is only one way, and it's literally like this. Two hours later. There we go. Okay, it's actually fit. I'm just, there we go, and it's even light up. Look at this. And it's even right up. There's there's even um, some juice in it. I could just gonna even show you. I can put it out if I can. It's really steady in though. It's it lights up. There we go. Now I want to know which one is the one, right? It's it's not this one. It's not it's not this one. This is for the Xbox One. This is the right one. It's the it's the single single slotted one. All right, let's. Uh, Put the battery again back in just like this so you, you take you take this put it in and slide in so you go first with the head in and then it's inside okay and now you take the single slot one i think on the instruction you will see which one is the one for for each one so yes yep there we go and it's pretty much, pretty much actually modded your Xbox One controller to a rechargeable one. This is how it's gonna look. So when you actually play, nobody will actually notice. A little bit maybe. Yeah, that's how it's gonna look. There we go. And it has, there we go. this is how it's gonna look, guys. And it has a magnetic uh, lock on thingy. You see? It locks on. And it looks really nice, I think, in my opinion. Uh, build quality. In my opinion, hey, 10 out of 10. Um, and I think any any retro gamer should have one, uh, especially this 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 dock with the battery. It's quick charging. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, look how easy and how good it's gonna look. Just like that. You hear that? Look at that. Yes. So there's not much to say about it. It's probably gonna charge and whatnot. Now what is what uh, what is my what is my pin on it? I think it's a 10 out of 10 without a doubt in my mind, guys. Uh, the dock looking good. It has you have any, you have different various fair, fair, fair colors as well. And as I said, my own it's my own money. I sp I'm not I'm not sponsored by it any any company or whatever. Uh, so yes, uh, build quality, guys. Stable uh, looks good. Uh, really premium. Um, it has quick charging. It has the magnet magnetic uh, uh, lock on. And as I said, it's gonna dedicate, it's gonna show you when it's done, and whatnot, and you're just good to go. You just whenever you're playing, you're playing done, you're done. And I play always on my uh, Samsung Tab S7 tablet. I connect it to my TV behind me, and I want always wirelessly. And uh, obviously, guys, hey, nothing getting cheap those days, and batteries neither. So I rather be like, and you know what? Uh, I, I, rather, I rather can charge it and I'm done with it instead of always charging and quicking batteries and in case in case guys 
it happens you're in a long bro bro section you know and you're playing with your bros and suddenly your battery dies or it's about to die you have the flexibil flexibility to just put batteries in in just case and put it in and and play like for for those kind of minutes that you want to so i think the xbox one xbox one controller and the elite and whatnot is the real deal when it's go to emulating and what all that because now we have the flexibility i probably this thing is longer than i think on market but i just discovered uh just yesterday and i think hey it's a must have for any uh retro gamer or emulation gamer and right when you really play on your phone, tablet, on your TV, whatever, on your PC. This is a must have. With that all said guys, I'm gonna get hacked out of here. Uh, would I recommend, hold up, would I recommend it? 100%ly, without even thinking about it. Uh, that's that's my opinion. And uh, yes, thank you so much for watching guys. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. And with that all said, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day and bye Keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming. Hey, not freaking out of here. Peace.